The cyclonic storm Biparjoy has now weakened into a deep depression from a very severe to a severe category storm. It has left a trail of destruction behind it in India while it passed through Pakistan's Sindh without causing much damage. After it made a landfall on Thursday evening in the Indian state of Gujarat. While no casualties have been reported, 23 people were injured in the state of Gujarat. It passed through Pakistan's Sindh as well. According to the Indian Met Department, the cyclone has now moved from sea to land towards Saurashtra, Kutch region and the Indian state of Rajasthan. Emergency teams are on the ground trying to access, assess the damage and help the needy. Power supply has been restored in over 3,000 villages, while over 1,000 villages still remain without power in Gujarat. Teams of National Disaster Response Force have been deployed. Over 180,000 people were evacuated to safer places in the Indian state of Gujarat and Pakistan's Sindh province. Early warnings, accurate identification of vulnerable areas and timely evacuations, all these factors helped India to avert major casualties from Cyclone Biparjoy, which battered India's west coast. In 1998, to give you a bit of a recap, a major storm in Gujarat caused around 4,000 deaths. While in 2021, close to 100 people died when an extremely severe cyclone named Taktai hit the state. More than 100,000 people were evacuated from Gujarat's eight coastal districts and moved to shelters set up in school auditoriums and other government buildings before the cyclone struck. Authorities also suspended fishing shut schools and closed beaches as well. Many offshore oil installations and major ports that dot the Gujarat coast suspended operations days earlier.